one retreat master, a priest, shared with us a story, and the story is like this. Uh, one day, uh, celebrating mass, and uh, suddenly, a gunman with a machine gun, uh, the group entered in the church, and uh, they shouted, uh, those who are ready to die for Christ, come out, and they shouted. And so, uh, some people went out from the church, and some people uh, remained in the church. But those who remained in the church, they heard the sound, uh, this shooting sound uh, with a gun, machine gun. So they are very scared, and they thought everybody went outside, those people died. And again, this gunman, they entered the church, and again they shouted, now all of you come out from the church. Uh, so uh, they went out. And uh, when they went out, this gunman, the group, they said again, shouting, now, you are shameful people. You are not ready to die. We will never allow you to approach this church. And they are very ashamed because the first group they went out, they were still alive. And uh, that is something, this is not a true story actually, but uh, it uh, really, uh, what uh, today Jesus wants to tell us, uh, we need to make a choice. Are you ready to die for the sake of Jesus? Or, uh, or are you ready to die for the sake of love? Or just uh, remain safe, comfortable? Uh, that is something not uh, like neutral, but uh, we need to choose it. And uh, uh, that is an invitation and something radical uh, test, test, test of faith. Uh, unless you love me uh, more than these, uh, even parents, mother, father, children, is uh, not worthy of me. And uh, something that is, uh, uh, well, kind of uh, radical choice. But uh, Jesus, yes, he is God. Uh, so do you love me uh, above all? Uh, that is the question. And uh, actually, Jesus himself, uh, he loved God the Father above all things. And he was so merciful and welcoming children. And uh, he himself uh, carried the cross and died on the cross, not for himself, uh, but for others. Uh, so today it is an invitation. Uh, are you ready to bear the cross of others? Are you ready to more serve, more generous to, to live for others, even die uh, for the sake of others, uh, for the sake of love and Jesus? That's the invitation. And we are baptized and we are called and we somehow to live this call uh, actually, the, it's the uh, growth uh, in holiness to become like Christ. Uh, our call is, uh, like the disciples, uh, to be with Jesus and uh, follow me. Jesus says, follow me. And this follow me, including to learn from Jesus and to become like Jesus and finally to lose our life for the sake of Christ, for the sake of love, uh, to become like Christ. And uh, we are maybe, uh, we are not that uh, aware of it, but uh, uh, what is my cross? Maybe my weakness, and my past life, unforgiveness, family problem, there are many uh, uh, people do not know. Maybe I myself am not that uh, sure, but uh, encouragement is, uh, and this story is not uh, discouragement, actually encouragement. Whatever you have, but uh, follow me, follow me. That is an uh, encouragement to follow Jesus to the end, no matter what. And uh, those who lose their life uh, find it. Uh, those who lose their life will find it. Uh, find what? Find the meaning of life. And the meaning of life is to love and to be loved. And we, if we, we are not finding the meaning of life, actually, we are lost. So that's a secret. The more we lose, the more we receive grace. The more we find the meaning of life, the more we forgive others, the more we are forgiven, the more we become merciful to others, we become receiving more uh, this mercy. So this is a secret, and Jesus is inviting us to become more like Jesus, but it is more by giving, giving, and uh, we receive 
And uh, that is uh, uh, something, uh, uh, actually, my patron, uh, St. Francis of Assisi, uh, you know the prayer of peace and the end is uh, this way, for it is by forgetting self that one finds. It is by forgiving that one is forgiven. It is by dying that one awakens eternal life. So we think of something losing, but actually losing for the sake of love, losing for the uh, sake of Jesus, it is gain, and uh, your reward is great in heaven. Uh, so let us uh, take courage, uh, take up your cross, yes, my weakness, my cross, but also to take up cross for one another, and that is to uh, bear the cross for each other. Uh, so today, today, Jesus encourages us to become like Christ, and he is so much loving us, so let us uh, take up cross daily, and follow Jesus to the end.